This one's going to be on this script called Tortux. It's a uh, command line way to access the pirate bay. So all you got to do is type in Tortux, depending on how you install it. Okay. So Tortux here, and then you search for, let's say we search for wallpapers. Right, and by default, they give you 30 results each. So 30 here. And you can see that, let's go up in a little bit here. So this is the numbers. And um, this one's the Cedars, this one's the Leechers, the Jondra, and the name of the file, right? And then you have the uploader in green here. Pretty much it's standard stuff. Um, but at the bottom here, you can do some different options, like M is for to show more details. And this one is to copy uh, the magnet links to the clipboard. Um, next page is just T and go to the end page so let's say you want to go to page 50 or something then you will use like p right and if you want to do a new search you hit n pretty much it's standard stuff so let's say for example we use m here for more details so m and then which uh you know you want to look at so let's say you do i don't know 29 right so you can see that in here um it tells us the size of it right and sometimes they have like a preview image or something like that that you can go to with this link here and sometimes people they comment stuff if this is a shit torrent or not basic stuff and uh, based on that if you say oh i want the link or or don't want the link to send to my torrent client then uh, they have some other options down here like okay yes i do want the link or uh, i just want to return to the page or i want a new search so let's say we wanted to return to the page uh, that we did before, right? So we return here. Let's say we do another one, but this time we're gonna copy of the link here instead. We're gonna use the magnet link C here. So let's say for example we do. What the hell did we do? Let's say we do 26 here, right? This one. So we didn't do C, and which torn do we want? 26, and it copies that to. Uh, you know, our clipboard and stuff. Now, if it asks us, do you want to open your torrent manager? Now, you have to set this up in your configurations. I'll show you that in a minute. But, you know, all you do is hit yes or no. So, if we say yes, by default, they ask you for a subtitle. Um, I don't know why they do that. I don't think you can disable it because I tried to disable it. It doesn't do it. But, I'm going to put no because this is not a movie or anything. So, you don't need subtitles. And, do you want to search something else? Uh, we'll put no. And that's it, exit the program. And now the one that we just uh, downloaded, right, was this uh, mix wallpaper thing here. And if I run my, um, what is that, my transmission command line, you can see that it's downloading that uh, mix uh, HD wallpaper thing here, right? So the way that you will set this up, um, depending on how you install it, they should give you this file, let me see here. This um, dot tortux uh, rc file. This is just a template, but you want to copy this to your um, your home folder, right? And all you gotta do is now is just open up your your editor. So I have mine already set up in uh, my home folder, right? It's just uh, tortux dot rc. Now, depending on which torrent client you're using. Like, um, for me, I'm using the transmission uh, command line uh, version, the daemon. Uh, I'm not sure why they have this one. It wasn't even correct. Okay, what you want to do if you're using transmission um, command line version, you want to put in transmission dash remote and then dash dash add. Okay, and that will take care of the uh, magnet links. Same thing for other ones if you're using the deluge uh, daemon. You want to add the flags too in quotes, all right? And I think that should take care of it. I'm not sure about R torrent and all that, but that's it for that. See right here, I tried to disable the uh, was it the subtitles? I commented out, still didn't work. So I don't know how you would disable that, but that's it for how you configure it, right? And whenever you want to, well, they do have some other options. So if you go Tor Tux, you can do some sorting. If you want to, but let me see here. Where's the sorting? 
All right, they have like sort um, by something. So if I do, what is that? Let's go back to our home folder here. So if I do tor tux and I do dash dash uh, sort, and if I want to sort by, I don't know, maybe leechers. So we do leechers. Right, and just run that and now you search for wallpapers you can see that um, the sorting is by the leechers so this one is the top is or the, the highest I mean and it's 33 and I'm not sure by the size because they don't actually show you the size in here I mean you can sort by size but how the hell would you know which size it is you know they don't give you the size information uh, by default here and there's like no way to know uh, another thing with this program is let me close this out here is that the spacing sucks look at this you have a lot of wasted space all right no one really cares about the uploader or you can put that next to the title that would make more sense here you can actually look look at that wasted space here another wasted space and, and all this uh, I mean, it has a lot of features and all that. Like, you can read other people's comments. But uh, let me just give you an example of my other one here. All right? This is my other Pirate Bay thing. Look at this. See, I know the title of the page. Or, I mean, know the title of the, the file. And I know, like, the size of it. I know how many cedars. I know how many leechers. And look at that. 15 of these. Very compact. I can see what the hell I want. Um... I wish that program does, you know, the, the same kind of format with it like this and has it all color coding. But, you know, that's that's it for the program. Um, pretty cool. It's just that uh, wasted space. And you can't really limit. Um, like, for example, what we did before was something like this. What is that? Wallpapers. You can't really limit um, how many you have by default. Because right now, if I want to see number one, I have to go up every time and look at number one and then go all the way to the bottom. You see that? If just let me limit to maybe 10 or 20, then uh, that'd be cool. But for right now, you can't really do that. Anyways, that's how you do it for uh, the Pirate Bay on here. Now, some people are blocked by the Pirate Bay. So if you're blocked by the Pirate Bay, you probably don't want to use that program. Uh, this is another site that has proxies for the Pirate Bay. So you can use this to, you know, still get your uh, your magnet links here. And you can use proxies from different uh, countries that are not blocked by them. And you can use it. So all you do is go and click on the links here. They do have alternative methods too if you want. Like uh, Tor, VPN, and they show you how to do this depending on, you know, what method you want to use. Anyways, I'll post everything in the description. That'll be it for this one.